What up fam? What up family? Welcome back to my channel. This time around, we got singer, songwriter, great lyricist, great lyricist, Paul Simon with Mother and Child Reunion from his self-titled 1972 album. Um, this is actually his sophomore album. I think this is two years after um, Simon and Garfunkel broke up, you know, split up. They went their separate ways uh <laughs> if, if if you're um if you've been watching this channel you know um how much i enjoy paul simon's lyricism and also his style uh, of music um so let me know what's next from paul simon all right and if you do enjoy this content please hit that subscribe button like the video if you like the video leave a comment let me know that you are here uh it does help out and i do appreciate it and of course i got the schlurks let's go ahead and listen Bob Marley vibes. I'll be honest with you. It gives me reggae vibes. Very, very reggae inspired. I would even consider the song to be reggae. Kind of like reggae rock. Kind of like how the police um does it. Um it, this this what reminds me of, but man, brilliantly sang here. Uh I feel like in, in this song, in the last song I did. Paul Simon is really showing his chops as a singer. This this was vocally pleasing. Um, as far as the lyrics, no, I would not give you false hope on this strange and mournful day. But the mother and child reunion is only emotional way or oh, a little darling of mine. I can't for the life of me remember a Saturday. 
I know they say let it be, but it just don't work out that way. <clears throat> and of course, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm drinking so much water. And of course, of a lifetime runs over and over again. No, I would not give you false hope on this strange and mournful day. But the mother and child reunion is only emotional way. Is it is is it like is this song about like like a mother who passed away and he's saying like a mother and child reunion is only a, a motion or a moment away, meaning, you know, at any time you could go, you know, kind of like the, the life cycle and there you are, uh, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I would not give you false hope on this strange and mournful day. Um, a mother and child reunion is only. Actually, I missed the verse. He said, I just can't believe it's so. Though it seems strange to say, I've never been laid so low in such a mysterious way. And the course of a lifetime runs over and over again. Huh. Okay. Who wrote this? Okay, of course, my guy wrote it. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, this is beautiful. It sounds kind of like it's a it's a song like kind of like mourning somebody who passed away it, that, that's what it sounds like to me at, at first at, at first listen I, I do enjoy the backup vocals on here i do enjoy the reggae pr um, production on here uh this song is just beautiful and the thing is paul simon uh when he like i love when he draws inspiration from these different places like diamond in the sole of her shoes like that right there with the uh, like that that right there coupled with um his style of music you know um and the thing is this guy i feel like since i've been listening to him solo he's he has done many different genres and sometimes it even sounds uh, uh, like progressive uh rock um sometimes what's that song um I'm saying that because I heard that one song. Was it Graceland? It wasn't Graceland. I'm trying to think of the song where I'm like, what is this? What's going on here? <laughs> but yo, shout out to Simon. Uh, never, never disappoint. Uh, he's one of those guys I do want to have every single one of his albums in my collection just to get very, very familiar with that body of work. There's a lot of bands on that list and a lot of artists on that list. And I know uh, it's going to take me a lifetime to do it, but I will be super, super familiar with all of their work to the point where I could just hear and be like, oh, that's Paul Simon from um, his second studio album. You know, I want to be that much of a scholar because I'm like that when it comes to my era of hip hop. Not not old school hip hop. I'm not too. I'm not too like. I don't know too much. You know. I'll say 90s. I from like around 96 and up. You know. I I, I know much. <laughs> Especially my era. The era that I was really enjoying it. I know. I know a lot. I'm a scholar. Like this is what I do. I have. I hold hip hop debates and you know stand on business. I want to be just like that, just as fluent in, in rock and roll and R&B, um, you know, so I, I could just be whole as a, you know, music lover, uh, an artist and a writer and just an overall enthusiast myself. But yeah, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. And also let me know what's next from Paul Simon. And if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. If you like the video, leave a comment. Let me know that you were here and I will see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be there. Peace.